Hi there friends, it's Dana from Nelly DC Crochet and today I am so excited to share with you my finished project of the Shapiest Crochet Along by Christina of A Spoonful of Yarn and I can't pronounce this very well, it's in French, but it's the De Histoire Naturelle. So here we go. Okay, so let's get started. This is my finished project, the De Historie Naturelle from Christina of A Spoonful of Yarn. It's the Shapiest Crochet Along 2020. So this is actually a Read With Me Crochet Along that Christina has put together, and it goes along with the book, All the Light We Cannot See, and that book is by Anthony Dower. And the way this worked was they would, the company would release a part of the crochet along and then um, she would have an interview. She would do an interview with the um, author of the book, All the Light We Cannot See, and people could go to Audible and um, purchase the book there and listen to it, or they could just, you know, purchase the book at a bookstore or Amazon and read along, or not buy the book at all. But the book was the inspiration to her, um, this amazing project that actually I think she said in her blog that it took about three years to create. So the first part is, I'm going to read along in her website, this is the Garden of Plants, right here. So the first section takes you through the part of the museum, the natural museum in France, and all the different flowers that you would see in this particular part of the museum. <clears throat> I've got the color crafter version and the stone washed version is beautiful too. Mine is the, um, what is mine? I have to think about it. I can't remember. But anyway, okay. And then the next section has the bees and the butterflies. I love how the butterflies turned out. One option was to add French knots to the um f uh, yeah to the butterfly or you could even sew on little beads and i i like to do french knots so i decided to do french knots on mine and then the bees this was a really fun part as well in this particular section <clears throat> and that was called the gallery of entomology the bugs bees and butterflies. The next section is called the Gallery of um, De Botanique. So it's the botanical section and that would be these neat leaves, the plants um, and herbs. This was a fun section to do and the way that they were explained in the video tutorials on From It's All in a nutshell, was just so very helpful from Esther. Okay, the next section is the mineral section. This is the Mineralogy Museum. And these all represent the different minerals in the museum. And in the book, it talks about the Sea of Flames um, stone, which was a major important part of the book. So that's what this is all about. And putting this all together on these corners with this lace work was very interesting. It was fun, but it was also a little bit tricky. Um, but when, once you got it done, see the four corners, you really felt like you had accomplished something really great. Okay, then the next part was we came to the section of 
Grand Gallery Day Evolution. So this section had represented the big mammals. Now there were a couple of different ways that we learned how to do the elephant and the ears. Now in the original pattern, these ears were not on the pattern, but a couple of people came up with a neat way to make these ears, the elephant ears. Now if you follow the color theme, this particular one that I have, the elephants would be blue, but I kind of wanted them to stand out with this yellow. So anyway, the elephants I thought was a really neat part about this pattern. And then the last section is the gallery of herbology. No, is that right? No, I can't pronounce it. Gallery de paleontology. And this was about fossils and shells. And these were really fun to make, these shells. Represents all the fossils and shells, that part of the museum. And then the last section for the border is this feathery section. That was really fascinating. It took a while to do, but it was a lot of fun. And the instructions that Esther gave in her videos make this so um, very doable. Even if you're a new crocheter, you ought to give it a try. So let's see, there are four color themes, and I'm going to tell you what they are if I can just find it on my computer. Actually, I'll just show you on my computer. Stonewashed or the Color Crafter. Then the Mineralogy, all about the minerals color theme from Stonewashed or Color Crafter. Then The conchology, that's what I have, conchology. Stonewashed or Color Crafter, that's the kit that I purchased. And the last one is actually my favorite. My daughter got this one, the entomology. Stonewashed and Color Crafter. But a lot of people put together their own colors, which is perfectly doable and can be a great idea. It was fun to see what all people came up with. So anyway, I'm Dana from Nellie DC Crochet showing you my finished project of the day, Historia Naturelle, and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.